Hi guys, today we will be making these three different phone case designs. You will need some clear plastic phone cases. And for this first one, you will need some watercolor paint. And also some plastic cling wrap. You will also need watercolor paper because it has this really cool texture. So all you have to do is mix some paint colors together and make sure that it's super watery. And then place the slightly scrunched up cling wrap over it and some cool patterns should form. I did this with a bunch of other colors too. You can go crazy with the colors and just experiment until you find something you like. I really loved how this aqua blue one turned out. And after you're done, just leave your sheet somewhere to dry, and then when it's dry, just peel off the plastic wrap. And voila, you have a nice abstract watercolor pattern. Next, use your phone case to trace out the shape, and after you're done, just cut it out. And don't forget the camera hole. out in the phone case to check if it'll fit, and if it does, glue it down. I chose not to glue it down so I could switch up the different designs. And I really love this purple one too, so I just repeated all the steps to make another one. You can choose to leave your phone case as is, but I decided to add some sparkles to make them more interesting. For this dream catcher phone case, you'll need some scrapbook paper. And then you're gonna wanna do the same thing with the tracing and the cutting. Next, I'm making a purple heart with my Sharpie, and this will be the frame of my dream catcher. And then just add a layer of hot glue on top of your dream catcher frame to make it more 3D. Make sure you don't burn yourself. And with some white paint, I'm just painting some random diagonal lines inside the frame and painting some trailing feathers. These glass beads are super pretty, so I glue gun some onto the dream catcher. Then I cut up this giant purple feather into a tiny one, and as you can tell, I had too much fun massacring this poor feather. <laughs> Then I painted some white dots on the feather and then glue gun it onto the phone case. And for the glow in the dark fireflies case, I printed out a black and white bouquet background. Then I repeated the chasing and the cutting. With the silver sharpie, you're gonna wanna draw a cute little mason jar. I decided to draw two. And with some glow in the dark paint, I just added some random dots all over the whole thing. 
Can you guys tell that the pink glows if I do this? Oh, it doesn't work. The dots are going to be the fireflies at night. And afterwards, just trace over the mason jars with some more glow-in-the-dark paint. And then afterwards, you can attach the design to the case and try it out. I hope you guys had fun making some of your own DIY phone cases. Thanks for watching!